I'm here with Jeff Tipping, the Director of Education and Coaching Development for the National Soccer Coaches Association of America. And we're going to talk about the Director of Coaching course that we have um, and tell you guys why it's important that we take it and, and talk a little bit about Tip or talk with Tip a little bit about it and uh, why it's important to take. So Tip, tell us a little bit about the course. Give us yeah. sort of an outline what a, what a Director of uh, Coaching would get from Yes, it. of course. Uh, probably the most important constituent group that we have in terms of developing players in the United States are the directors of clubs. Because the directors of clubs, they train the staff, they choose the staff, they recruit the staff, uh, they develop the teams, um, and they put in different policies into the club, um, how people travel and what kind of training they should do, they develop a calendar, they develop a budget. And so the director of clubs are, it's a very important position in the United States. And do you see more clubs going with, more clubs are going toward it, having a director of yep. coaching at their club than uh, before? Yeah, absolutely. The, the problem that we've had for many years in the U.S. is um, our clubs are not really clubs um, in the real sense of the word. Our clubs are a series of teams that wear the same uniform, they have the same name, but there's actually no connection between any of the teams within the club. Uh, a real club has a curriculum which is developed from young players and connects the younger teams with the older teams. Um, a real club has a well thought out system of staffing. They also would have, for example, uh, s um, service staff, for example, or specialist staff like conditioning coaches, nutritionists, educational uh, guidance people, uh, that, all that kind of thing. Okay. So that's what we're trying to get is what, what is a real club? And a real club is not just a collection of teams, it is actually very carefully integrated as one unit. So it's definitely, there's there's a process to go behind it. It's not just someone sort of running the whole thing, but rather there has to be a lot of thought that goes into to of, actually doing yeah, it. A lot of thought goes into it, and it's also like a lot of other things. As you move up the, the ladder, if you will, there's a different skill set uh, necessary. Mm -hmm. And so a lot, of, a lot of people go from being a coach to being a director of a club. Well, the director of a club has a lot of, of uh, has skill sets which did not necessarily need to have as a coach where the coach is in charge of one team. Mm -hmm. Now the director of a club is managing maybe 35 staff, maybe 25 teams. Uh, it's a whole different skill set and having to draw up charters, having to de develop budgets for the whole club. Um, it's a do totally different set of skills and there was n really nobody addressing uh, those particular issues until we developed the national Soccer Coaches Association Director of Club Coaches Diploma. And tell us a little bit about how long the course is, how many days it runs, sort of a, a little bit of yeah. a brief structure of it. It's uh, The course has been going on now for about five years mm -hmm. and we have found that the Friday, Saturday, Sunday format is very convenient for, for directors of clubs. Many of the directors have really, they don't really, they're not very well um, trained in being a director. In mm -hmm. fact, for, for many of them, this will be the first kind of education they've had of, of, any, of any sort. So a 21 hour weekend course has been a very good start for us. We intend in the long run to expand it to maybe a five day course, because mm -hmm. there's so much material that, that goes into it. And it runs from around about Friday, about five o'clock in the afternoon, and finishes around about Sunday at noon or one o'clock. And why, uh, wh what is this, I know the different, you sort of learn a different skill set in yeah. that, but what can they expect as they sort of come in? Is it more lecture based? Is it sort of, you know, working in small groups? Like what sort of environment do they work in? That's a very, that's a good point. Um, most, there's no field work whatsoever because we feel as though the DOCs, they get their field work by taking the national diploma, the advanced national diploma, the premier diploma, the master coach diploma. So they get the field work doing that, but um, just working um, on uh, lectures, different presentations, what is a club, or what we call what is the entity, um, how to deal with parents, that's an important segment, how to fundraise, uh, some of the legal implications of running a club, whether it's non-profit or for-profit, the, these are some of the issues that we just that we talk about. But then we do also have a discussion periods where the club directors get together, and they are probably the most interesting things where um, people talk to each other about what the issues are with their particular club. And adults' education is a lot different than child's education because in adults' education, in many ways, the adults educate themselves. Mm -hmm. They bring the different experiences, their different backgrounds, and that's why it's such a great course. Great. 
Well, do you have anything else you'd like to add to any of the other directors of, of coaching that might be interested in taking the course and yeah. what maybe they should know about it? Yeah. Well, we have the Directors of Club Coaches Diploma, that's a weekend course, but we also have a Master Coach Program, which is for people that have the Premier Diploma, and we have a division in the Master Coach Program for Directors of Clubs, that is an 18-month training program, and anybody that gets through all of our other educational programs has the opportunity to, to take that course. But Directors of Clubs have to understand there's a different skill set, and they really should get an education in what is it to be the Director of a Club. Great. Well, if, if you guys have any questions about the director of uh, coaching courses that we have here, or any of the other coaching courses we have at the NSCAA, you can make sure you visit us online at www.nscaa.com, or you can email myself, which is rknapp at nscaa.com, or you can email Jeff, which is jtipping at nscaa.com, and we'd be happy to answer any of the questions we have, and we hope to see you out at one of our courses uh, sometime soon. And thanks a lot for taking the Thank time you. to explain it, Jeff. Thanks very much.